What is gravity? Gravity, also called gravitation, is the mutual attraction of masses and is one of the four basic forces of physics. On Earth, gravity causes all matter to be attracted to the Earth's mass. This weight force is proportional to the mass. If you release an object above ground level, it is accelerated by its weight force and falls to the ground. How does gravity affect liquids? Gravity can cause pressure differences relative to the ambient pressure. In a glass filled with water, the pressure at the bottom of the glass is higher than the ambient pressure due to the weight of the water. This pressure difference is directly dependent on the height of the water column in the glass. The shape of the glass has no influence on the pressure. Pressure differences can therefore also be expressed as the height of water column measured in centimeters of H2O. If you put a drinking straw into the glass and then hold the upper end closed with a finger, you can lift the water in the drinking straw out of the glass. The water is held in the drinking straw by a vacuum, which also corresponds to the height of the liquid column. If you then release the finger, the vacuum collapses and the water flows out. What influence do water columns have on suction and thoracic drainage? Similarly, a column of fluid in the drainage tube during thoracic drainage leads to a pressure differential. The patient's side pressure is therefore not determined solely by the suction applied to the drainage system but also by the fluid columns in a drainage tube. If the end of the tube at the drainage container is below the level of the thorax, the column of the fluid in the tube leads to additional vacuum pressure. The negative pressure applied to the patient is therefore higher than the suction level set at the thoracic drainage system. What is the siphon effect? and what are the benefits of regulated suction. Liquids contained within a hose can be moved against the force of gravity by a vacuum. The suction must compensate for the weight of the liquid column in order to raise it. A siphon can form if the tube sags between the patient and the drainage system. If the drainage hose carries both liquids and air, the vacuum set on the unit side must temporarily work against the liquid column in the siphon. The vacuum applied to the patient is then lower than the suction applied to the device. If there is too little suction, the siphon cannot be evacuated. With a double lumen tubing system, digital devices such as Topaz Plus can compensate for this effect. In this case, the pressure at the patient is measured close to the pleural cavity via a separate measuring tube that is not carrying any fluids. The differential pressure between the patient and the device is detected and the vacuum pressure is automatically regulated through adjustment of the device's suction. In digital systems, the pressure at the patient therefore corresponds at all times to the set point value set on the device. Summary. Gravity acts on the fluid in a drainage tube and causes changes in the pressure at the patient's side relative to the suction set at the device. When the drainage tube is routed downward from the patient to the drainage device, the column of fluid in the tube causes a vacuum, which is added to the device's suction. If the hose forms a siphon, this cannot be evacuated if the vacuum pressure is too low. The Topaz Plus drainage system compensates for the influence of gravity on fluids in the tubing and allows direct adjustment of the patient side pressure on the device.